I'd like to introduce uh, the players in my first session, and I'm going to bring them up right now. Hello, everybody. Why has it gone? You, can, you can talk. You can talk. Hi. You know, Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh God, so what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, Good morning. So, uh, so let's go around the horn and introduce yourselves and introduce the character that you're playing. And uh, and we'll 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 talk a little bit, and we're maybe going to do a little bit of trivia. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't okay. know if we know what direction the horn goes, unfortunately. <laughs> well, let's start with Tom. Hey everyone, I'm Tom Lommel. I'm six hit points on Twitter. I'm your friendly neighborhood dungeon master. I don't know why I stuttered on that dungeon master because. <laughs> I'm not done with my coffee, anywhere near done with my coffee. <laughs> I am playing, wow, I suppose I should bring up my character in D&D Beyond, huh? I had it here. Um, I am playing, uh, <laughs> what's his uh -oh. name? Hank Orsti. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. Yeah, Tank Orsti, that's right. I am a, I did a little bit of like random rolling just since this is a one shot to make this interesting. So I am Verdon. I don't know what that means. I have some psychic abilities because I'm Verdon. Um, and I'm a fifth level artificer who has battle armor that has magical abilities. Uh, Verdon are in the uh, Atlas Incorporated book. They're like a mutated goblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. So, that um, sounds about right. I'm small. Yeah. My one magic item, which Dom, of course, so generously allowed us to have one <laughs> magic item. Uh, is Gauntlets of Ogre Power, without which I am not able to don my plate mail. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, without which I have a seven strength. <clears throat> That's so, great. Fantastic. Yes, tank, tank or Steve. Wonderful. Uh, Aki. Hi, everyone. I'm Aki. Um, you might recognize me from places around the internet doing things, including for Saving Throw Show. Uh, we just wrapped our second season of New Pantheon uh, with the demigods with power, Powered by the Apocalypse. Um, and uh, today I'm going to be playing Grizzik, who is a goblin barbarian. Um, they are, you know, they're a small and they're, uh, they're here to get, they're here to get a uh, real choppy with it. Yeah, that's, that's what they're going to do. Nice. Nice. Uh, ben. Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, I'm doing shows with uh, the RPG Exploration Society here on Saving Throw every so often. Um, and today I am playing Whore Liar, a uh, tiefling bard, level five. Everyone's level five. No. Oh, no, Ben Just is extra me. special, though. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I'm level, level five plus. Oh. <laughs> Good, good, uh, good, good, good. If we can, t can I, can I say what my magic item is? <laughs> yeah, you can yeah. say whatever you want. So uh, I have the super special cloak of billowing. Uh, I love that one. Yeah. So just wait and see how that plays out. <laughs> chat, chat is saying, of course, Ben breaks the combo of goblin types. No, <laughs> we had two <laughs> goblinoids, and now Ben's a tiefling. Oh well, Megan. Hi, hi, I'm Megan Caves, and um, you can find me on our Friday night show, Savage World Show Wild Cards, uh, among other things. <laughs> uh, and t today I am playing Persandral Amastasia. Um, I am a an elf rogue, and I'm a soldier, and I have a very good military rank, and so other people listen to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, Sounds about that's right. who I am. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Nice. Uh, Eric. Hi, everyone. Uh, I am playing uh, Patton, who is a dark elf warlock. Oh, Great. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there is to know about Patton. Patton will uh, tell you everything else. And Eric, apparently. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Riley. Maybe, I, maybe more verbose. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably a given. Uh, I am Riley, and I play Velma Sweet on The Broken Pact, which is a joint production between a Saving Throw Show and D&D. &D. Uh, we are in between seasons right now, so we'll see what happens next. But uh, I am. I also have done an episode of RPG Exploration Society, and I also GM the Frozen 2 one-off uh, we did back in, uh, I guess it was just regular Frozen, whatever, back in December. 
Uh, and today I am playing Burn, and Burn is a uh, Fire Genasi monk. Ooh. Who is he? Uh, I think the sub subclass is the elemental elemental variety, the way of the elemental fist, I think. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Something like yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um, so before we get uh, deep into uh, uh, the game, uh, we're going to play a little bit of trivia here. Oh no! And uh, basically, if you get these right, uh, you're going to get a uh, uh, inspiration. Okay. Ooh. So I'm going to start, uh, and uh, I'm going to ask. This is a Harry Potter trivia. <gasps> okay. Well, thanks, Megan. Wait for <laughs> us. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm rolling the magic, the magic uh, trivial pursuit die, and I got yellow. Okay, yellow is magical people. Uh, chat now. If you are all in chat, don't look to chat. Chat's going to be <laughs> delayed. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which Ministry of Magic employee expels Harry after the Dementor attack in the underpass because of his use of underage sorcery? I'll read it again. <laughs> which Ministry of Magic employee expels Harry after the Dementor attack in the underpass because of his use of underage sorcery? I don't remember his name. Oh! Is it, uh, is it Minister Fudge? It is not Minister oh. Fudge. Strike one. Mm -hmm. Is it Umbridge? Strike two. Okay. No, um, oh man. How many, do we get three strikes? How many you strikes get three strikes. Get? Well, shit, I'm gonna get my <laughs> smart ass mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. 54 Aqua Snakes, thanks for gifting five subs to the channel. Very much appreciated. Woo, five subs. One for each level that Ben has. It's been way too <laughs> since I read Harry Potter, so I don't even remember. Ah, I know the, like, area, it happens. It's like, uh... Ah. I got nothing. Isn't, am I am I wrong? Isn't Hermione's, like, dad or something like that? Like, the, the in charge no. of the Mystery of Magic? No, or no Tom, no. Hermione's parents are muggles. Dentist. Oh my You're god. Dentist. Really? Yeah. yeah. How yeah, because remember she, because she erases herself from their memories when oh, they run away I'm, from Voldemort. All right, let's see if chat I'm, knows. I'm thinking chat. of Ron. Ah. Thinking of Ron, isn't it Weasley? Yeah, yes, Weasley does work. That is not. It is not. That is the incorrect answer, though. Chat, do you know who this is? <laughs> I'll give them a few seconds to catch up, and then uh, I will give you the answer. Yes, Siamath Pirinkoff. It's Mafalda Hopkirk. Mm. Oh. oh. I was gonna yeah. Of course. I know that was right at the tip of your tongues. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I definitely remember that name. Yeah. All right. Like just every every year I see people. Okay. Up. You have you have a uh, okay. We're we're gonna do this. Okay. This is for an inspiration. Uh, this is Lord of the Rings trivia. Oh no. Um. <laughs> oh wow. Hmm. <laughs> that sounds promising. It really does. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> did, did they write it in old Elvish? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. These are, are you trying to translate it back into Tolkien? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> What does Gandalf tell Wormtongue to keep behind his teeth? Keep your fork tongue be uh, be uh, uh, behind your teeth. That is correct. Fork tongue oh. is correct. <laughs> well done. Now, double or nothing. Would you like to go double or nothing on this and get two inspirations for the entire party? Yeah. Is that a yes? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Sure. You're welcome, everybody. Wait, so do they have to get it now, or can any of us answer this? Anybody can answer. Anybody okay. can answer. Okay. Okay, but unfortunately, you're answering A, D, and D trivia this time. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Double or nothing. All right. 
Uh, uh, ben, give me a level between one and five. Four. Oh, boy, okay. How did you not go five? You're level, level five. One. Choose level one is oh, the yeah. easiest. Level one is the easiest. <laughs> you screwed us, Ben. You He's, screwed us. We've done these questions before. They're a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, Chat, remain quiet, it's probably okay. It's probably okay. Uh, thanks for resubscribing, welcome back on in. Uh, Jason Mills, who will be on here later. Okay, this is a level four question. Remember, this is second edition AD&D. Remember. What magical item will restore hit points, restore a lost limb, and even bring a character back from the dead? Staff of Revival. Is that your final answer? No. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you came in real hot with that. Yeah. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what magical item will restore a... hit points, restore a lost limb, and even bring a character back from the dead? I even think it's... What a stopper in death. Sorry. I think it's a rod of resurrection. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> is that your final answer? I guess it is. Let's yes. go for it. <laughs> Incorrect. It is a ring of regeneration. Ring of regeneration oh. was my first. That was my gut. Oh, oh no. I mean, we were all sitting here. It was. It oh no. Point, I'm sorry. I mean, I was, I was thinking Phoenix down, but I think that's a different system. No, I didn't. I that, didn't. That's I didn't, uh, Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Th I didn't think a Ring of Regeneration would bring you back from the dead. If you yeah, appara dead. apparently it can, according Life to the writers of the AD and D trivia game. Okay, listen, I feel bad. I feel bad. So I'm going to give you a Star Wars trivia question, and you Ooh, can get okay. you can get your your All inspiration right. back. Okay, here All we right. go. Here we go. Here we Level go. One. For any new people watching, this isn't what we normally do on this channel, but we like to have a little fun when we do our marathons. <laughs> we and, normally uh, don't have any fun on this channel. Yeah, we never have fun on this channel. Okay. It's, it's the home of serious role playing. Yes. Oh, okay. It's been born out. <laughs> wow. Um, oh, God. I got okay, really this is, about Star Wars, and then I this realized is, a whole lot of Star Wars. This is a, uh, a history question. Oh, no. Good. I don't know why it's a history question, but fine. Well, Who it was took a long out, time ago. Who took out the second biker scout? during the speeder bike chase. This is a 50-50 oh question God. here. We only have two people who are options, right? No. No. No, we there's have... a third. There's Ooh. a third that God. it might be. Is oh, it one of the Ewoks? Shoot. Yeah, it, it might be it might be what's his face? Is it it might be the tree. It might is be it the wicked? tree. Is oh. it the tree? Is <laughs> tree a character? I'm yeah. just gonna guess is it, giant is, tree. Is, is it I mean, tree beer? I feel like the tree is the, mur the murder weapon. Yeah. I feel like Are we I'm suddenly in Clue? <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop her screaming. Um, oh, God. I'm trying to visualize the I, movie in I my wanna head. Say it's, I want to say it's Wicked, but I might yeah. be wrong. But no. my boy Warwick Davis. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Back back up. Which, okay. Second? This, the speeder bike chase in, in Return of the Jedi. Yes. Wicked okay. doesn't show up until after the speeder bike chase. No, no, it's it's Luke right. and Leia racing through the force, and in one part she shoots or they shoot somebody. I don't remember who shoots somebody, and then like in the second part, I believe Luke like jumps off and like chops the front end of the speeder off, right? Oh, that's a good point. Well, yeah, I don't I remember the order, well, but, but, the but those are the two things that happen. I was thinking yeah, so of the second six twenty. Yeah. I need a final answer. Well, I mean, Tom, you're, you've logicked your way through this. What do you think? Yeah. Well, it's either, I'm, and I agree with you, it's either Luke or Leia. <laughs> the question is which one. I like, I, I, I like Tom's, uh, it only feels had some true. way to randomly choose between options, like some sort I, of random yeah, number. I think it's Luke. I'm leaning <laughs> towards Luke because I think yeah. that after you describe that, I can visualize that happening in my head. Yeah, and he must have been on the bike in the first one. Like they were on the bike together in the first one, right? So yeah. when the first one went down and got shot, he was driving it. First. They were together, yeah. yeah. And so it must he must be the second one. Sure, yeah, let's did. go for it. All right, cool. Go for it, Tom. Luke. Luke is correct. Yes. <gasps> yeah! All right. Wow, that, that took a myself. while. That took Thanks a while. For tuning in, everyone. Hey, yeah. we basically All had right. to rerun, replay the whole movie in our heads, really. Fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Yeah, so yeah, so they they both are driving separate speeder bikes and then uh, Luke hops onto Leia's speeder bike uh, later on But then uh, yeah, he chops it in half. Thank you. See me David 95 BSB care and moose elch for the uh, tips Ooh. Thank you very much. Just a reminder 50% uh, of everything we raise goes to the solidarity response fund for COVID-19 uh, That's uh, for to help uh, the World Health Organization fight COVID-19 so thank you very much. The other 50% goes to keeping our studio around during this uh, uh, pandemic. <laughs> we still have to pay rent. We are There is no rent uh, freebies going on here. So I very much appreciate uh, every contribution. Uh, we are almost, we are two thirds of, almost two thirds of the way towards our next straw poll unlock, which uh, my computer happened to restart uh, overnight and lost all of my straw poles, so I'm going to have to re <laughs> recreate the the, oh, no. the second straw pole. Uh, but uh, yeah, the first straw pole luckily was still in the computer, um, and uh, and you can continue to vote on that. So uh, I'm going to reshare it, so you have it. Uh, there you go. Uh, just a reminder, uh, Christian Linke, thank you for gifting five subs to the channel. Uh, mm. That puts us very, very close to our, our next straw pull unlock, which will wait until after this session uh, for me to do uh, mods. Remember that I said that. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, just a reminder, we're going to go through, we've got four sessions today. The fifth session will be GM'd by you in chat using our patented Saving Throw Show Twitch GM's model. Uh, and then we're going to be watching a game. Uh, if you like polls, or watching a movie, if you like polls, go to our Twitter right now and choose which movie we watch today with all of you. Um, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, welcome, Zarvin. Thanks for gifting another five subs to the channel. Very much appreciated. We are one away from unlocking that next straw poll. Uh, and don't forget, if you are not following the channel, you must follow the channel to enter the raffle. Uh, exclamation point raffle will get you a ticket. If you are a subscriber, you get an extra four tickets into that raffle. So you have a much better chance to win. Every time we've r run a, a raffle, a subscriber has won. So just FYI, Ben, you are disqualified, but thank you for subscribing. <laughs> um, <laughs> you were just gifted a sub, Ben. Um, <laughs> So uh, thank you very much. A hundred dollar Hero Forge gift card is on the line. Plus, uh, where where did I put it? I put it over here. Uh, Dark Designs, a Nightbane source book is also on there. And oh no, I lost the I lost the uh, the Trivial Pursuit magic die. Oh well. Okay, moving you're, on. You're doing great over there, Dom. But just, thank you. Just I mean, it took me 20 minutes to realize that my ring light wasn't on and why I was so blurry because oh. there's no light. Yeah. So, you know. Well, you look great now. Uh, thank you, so Riley. So I didn't before? How dare. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, oh, Riley, for gifting that sub. Uh, welcome on in, Hako 2013. Uh, Prowl19, thanks for gifting a sub to Roy Royal Wild Rhine 567 uh, And we have unlocked the next... Uh, uh, the next straw poll. So thank you very much. Uh, okay. Are y'all ready? Yes. Yes. Let's do All it. All right. Let's get started. So, um, it's a typical day. Uh, you are an adventuring party. You have adventured together for a number of years. You know each other very well. Um, tell me a little bit, where do we find you? We are, we arrive in situ right now to, to this adventuring party. First, tell me, what is your adventuring party's name? Uh, what do people call you? What do the townsfolk call you when, when you come and, and rescue them from, from things? If you rescue them at all, maybe you don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, tell me about that too. But, uh, uh, <laughs> Kydrak, thank you very much for gifting five subs. Uh, but, uh, yeah, tell me where we find you. If you want to discuss this amongst yourselves briefly, that's fine too. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, uh, let let the fine folks at home know where you are. I feel like a tavern is too easy. We seem like the type of group that like likes to keep moving, and you know, maybe maybe we're like camping out somewhere or like on in like in a cart on our way to a place or something. I don't know. I like being in a cart. I like opening a, a story with some movement. 
Yeah, no, I feel you like... know, like that that good old Skyrim opening where you know you wake up and you're... <laughs> we're all about to be murdered. Cool. Uh, <laughs> like it's a party of like two or three goblins and like a weird dark elf. I don't think we like go to populated areas a lot. Yeah. One of us is like almost on fire all the time. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, what if uh, what if we need? I need some uh, some sort of magical gems or crystals to help power my armor. And so we're maybe on a, a mountain trail up to some sort of old abandoned mine or or uh, I like that. Yeah, dwarven cool ruin way. or something like that. Yeah, boy, your sure. armor takes a lot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. gauntlets of ogre power, some fancy gem and a mine. Uh, wow. So, okay. so, uh, what kind of what kind of name have we given our motley crew? We're probably like the soldiers of heroic adventure, or something like that. <laughs> but it's like real ironic. Yeah. 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 So. so oh yeah, we're, we're like, called, like we we're say it like that. Shaw. We we call ourselves Shaw. <laughs> yeah. Of heroic adventure, yeah. Shaw. Or we so fight our, we fight our immortal enemies, Shaw. Hobbs. Shaw. <laughs> I feel like as goblins, we're not smart enough to drop the O, so maybe it's Soha. Oh, Soha, yeah. Soha. We say, yeah. we still hit Soha, but everybody else just calls us Shaw. <laughs> and then we Shaw. look at him confused, like, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Shaw. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm of average intelligence. I think I can. Oh, you're right. A I'm four, I have a 14 intelligence. Yeah, yeah you're I pretty think smart. We're smart. Okay, Verdon aren't like little. Verdon are a little bit more sophisticated than most goblins. Yeah. So if, if we're Shaw, then do we have uh, a, a, an arch enemy called Hobbs? <laughs> I already made that joke. <laughs> oh no. We missed the joke, right? Oh, these sorry. headphones. These <laughs> headphones only have my voice in them. I don't. <laughs> are you all talking? I'm sorry. <laughs> See, at least he has an excuse this time. <laughs> if if you think my armor is needy, you should you should hear about my ego. <laughs> At least you said it. <laughs> I didn't get to build Tom's character, so um, he probably has ego points in there somewhere. Oh. Um, it's a it's an it's an extended rule for uh, fifth edition. Yeah, he's got a lot of homebrew in there. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> if you if you want to learn how to add ego points to your character, talk to Tom after the show. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you are in a cart going up to an abandoned mine. Um, the the day, it's a beautiful day. It is, the sun is shining. Uh, light is dappling down from the from the trees that are overhead. You are, it's, it's an uphill uh, journey, but you have uh, two uh, donkeys who are pulling the cart. I'd like to say that I'm sitting on the cart, uh, definitely playing my pan flute and lute at the same time. I'm multi-talented. You're playing a pan flute and a lute. So do you have like a little thing around your neck like that it, holds the yeah. pan flute? Yeah. Okay. Like it's definitely like I'm doing. Okay. One of those is 500 beautiful. gold. One of those is 500 <laughs> gold. I need 500 gold right now. No, really, I need 500 gold. No, really. Uh, you said that in my tools, I have a disguise kit, a horn, a lute, a pan flute, and a viol. So I have yeah, all I of the instruments. I my, know. The thing, the thing that holds the flute costs. Yeah, $500. yeah. I, I know. I never gave you that. I, I do believe that I crafted that out of leaves. <laughs> all right. He cast one we do have band. an artificer in the group. So. That's true. That's true. Oh, but yeah. I, I feel like the artificer is working very hard on his armor right now. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I I could see Tank just like breaking the viol and then casting mending on it, and then just breaking the viol <laughs> and casting mending, and just staring dead in the eyes. Of- yes. <laughs> uh, Phantos, very much. Thank you very much for that uh, for that tip. Much appreciated. Um, yes, we are slaying the rent beast. Um, uh, ben, tell me about your cloak. Is it billowing right now? Absolutely not. No. That's well, all it does. Billowing right now. <laughs> that's all it does. It can only no. billow. <laughs> no. Well, it's, I, it lays it. there. It's it's draped it's draped dramatically, but it's not billowing at this point. I guess that's fair because otherwise it would just be like hitting us all in the face in the back of the, yeah. the cart if you had mm-hmm. it billowing behind you while we're all riding. It. I ha- I can control it with my mind, and I'm yeah. choosing not to do that right now. Her sandoral really hates it when it billows into her face. She's not okay with that. Yeah, we've had a lot of talks about the billowing. Yeah. 
So, um, <laughs> so, so the, the, the cape is tied up at, at the moment. Um, you're all listening to this uh, beautiful, beautiful pan flute and uh, lute uh, song. Ben, give me a performance roll. I sure can. Sure can, Dom. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a 21 performance. Okay. Uh, it was a DC 22, so you failed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, I remember playing with Dom now. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, um, it, it is it is gorgeous. Everyone, uh, you are you are calmed and rested. Don't forget you have your inspiration that you can use as well. So on this journey, um, the sun is starting to go down. It's a long journey from the town you are in to the the mine. Uh, this mine is called. Uh, the tricorn mine and it is uh from what you understand it is a haunted mine and uh there are many things jork lord canada knows about because uh they just gifted five subs to the channel um Ooh. this haunted mine is uh is run by uh what you understand to be an old wizard king uh and the Wizard King used to rule the land uh, that you are in right now, but long, long ago, centuries ago, uh, perished. But uh, there are reports that somehow he managed to stay alive. Uh, perhaps some dark deals made with, with uh, vengeful gods or something. But somehow he has remained alive and he uses his uh, undead minions to... Um, terrorize the the local township and the surrounding areas uh as you go closer and closer to the mine the trees start withering and the the leaves that were dappling the light through are are you slowly see that they are they have fallen to the ground in almost a perpetual state of uh fall and uh you the the trees almost look um petrified they are they are uh withered and um branches sort of almost like like claws reach across the 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 canopy and uh the skies seem to darken around this mine uh give me a uh, uh what is it notice <laughs> <laughs> give me perception? a perception. Yeah, give me a perception check. This isn't Savage Worlds. Give me a perception check. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm gonna go back. Everybody. Uh, yes, everybody. Yeah, uh, I got a four because I'm definitely too involved in my music. I got a six. I got I'm trying to ignore perception. the music. Seventeen. Ooh. Uh, it's it's daylight <laughs> out. I'm a dark elf, and I rolled a natural one. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, um, although Dom did describe how the scene is darkening, right? It's, it's yes. getting towards nighttime. Yeah, it's it's probably a, just after golden hour, so the sun has gone down. Okay. I, I feel like the last ray of sunlight is hitting. Yeah, it's just square it's <laughs> right in the eyes. You're like you're like oh god, I can't look at I cannot look at this bard anymore. And you turn and you just look straight into the sun, and it burns your eyes. Um, and then it goes down and, and you're through. Okay. I got an 18. An 18. Excellent. All right. Anybody who got over a, uh, 12, raise your hand. Okay. So Tom, Megan, uh, your characters, uh, what, Persanderall and Tank? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, you hear some rustling in the, uh, in the underbrush. Ew, do you guys hear that? <laughs> hear what? What do you want us to hear? It sounds like there's like something rustling nearby. There is always something rustling nearby. It's fine, we're on a road. Yeah, but I think this might be something dangerous. Well, if you're worried about it being dangerous, why don't you go check it out? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna go sneakily check it out. Great. I don't think you're supposed to declare or sneak. I think that's kind of defeats <laughs> purpose. Oh, uh, you're you're right. I'll be quiet when I'm sneaking. Okay. Good point. Great. 
Okay, so um, <laughs> that's, our, that's your sneaking theme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so Ben, uh, what is it? A whore liar? Whore li- uh, it's ho- it's whore liar. Whore liar. Say it. Whore liar. Whore liar. Whore liar uh, strums a stealthy tune uh, for you, which you all recognize <laughs> is the stealthy tune. Um, and uh, it's something like brave, brave Sir Robin, and you uh, <laughs> off you go off the cart. Everyone else, uh, aside from Tank, you just hear the clip clopping of the donkeys, and uh, the the stealthy song has started. So you know that uh, that uh, Persanderall is doing uh, their stealth maneuver. Uh, uh, give me a a stealth roll if you could. Okay, I made that roll, and she got a 19. And the way she stealths, especially to her stealth song, is like this like ballet dance, but it's very mm-hmm. like delicate, and she's on her tiptoes. But that's, you know, she's got to look mm. really lovely while she does it. Very important to Persand roll. Nice. So are, is there like a lot of arm movements, like plie type stuff? And yes, then... a lot of like beautiful arm movements. Okay. <laughs> it's always important to look good while you're being stealthy. Yeah. It's very important. As you weave your way through the underbrush and trees, yes. Yeah. Don't wanna, I don't want to be seen, but if I am seen, I want to look good. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> precisely. Yes. Precisely. So you effortlessly leap off of the cart and into the underbrush and uh, uh, doing a plie uh, underneath some branches and some uh uh, bushes, you mm-hmm. see uh, that there are some skeletons um, approaching from uh, the side here. <laughs> okay, so she'll uh, do her dance back stealthily to everyone. It's really gross. It's a bunch of skeletons. Well, that doesn't sound good. No. Yes, we should probably take care of these. Or we could try and go around them. I mean... Yeah, then we don't have to get germs from the skeletons. <laughs> Is that what you're worried about? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> germs are the worst. I mean, it I'm might pretty mess sure up my hair. I don't think they have the things for the germs to eat, so they might not be germy at all. Oh, well, they're dead, right? I mean, that's like dirty. Yeah, something did kill them. You don't know if it was the germs or not. <laughs> so, True. This is a good point. I, I take yeah. back my complaint. <laughs> Uh, uh, Something's about to kill him again. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Kyle Rubarts and uh, a panth rope. Uh, thank you for gifting subs. Kyle Rubarts gifted two subs. A panth rope. I don't know if I'm saying that right. A panthrope? Like misanthrope, but a panthrope? Could Maybe. be a, panth- a panthropy. A panthropy. Baby, a panthropy. Uh, gifted 25 subs to the channel. Whoa. Thank you very much. Uh, wow. Welcome. Awesome. Welcome, all of you new subs. Uh, if you're just joining us, we have a raffle going on. If you just became a sub, you can enter the raffle now, uh, typing exclamation point raffle, and you get an extra four uh, tickets into that. Uh, so there you go. Ooh. Uh, All right, the party is thinking about washing their hands right now before they're dealing with some skeletons. Uh, So yeah, the skeletons are are approaching, but because you know that they're coming, uh, you can prepare. uh, Prepare for battle if you like. Do you want to stop the cart? Do you want to keep going? How do you want to do this? Should we Um, fight them? How many of us, by show of hands, have ranged weapons that we would all know. I I have a ranged spell attack. Does anybody else have ranged like? I have I have javelins. I, I have bows. Lots of okay. bows. I don't have anything. It's only through my master that if if they <laughs> grant me any, if they grant my my their aid, then then I am given I, it. I will grant you aid, Patton. You have my aid. <laughs> I have my axe. Your aid. Oh, you sorry, are not I, my I have the ranged weapon of my music. <laughs> oh yes. So, so maybe I we think could that just steal from them from over here if they get close enough. Yes, maybe we should be ready to fight them if they come closer, but we can keep moving for now and just attack from range. No I point like in this off idea. Cards. Yes. Less so, germs. <laughs> so you're going to be you're going to stay <laughs> stay in the cart and keep the cart moving? Yeah, I think so. But like okay. get ready to fight with range weapons if we have to. Okay. Um so you, uh, th- the cart 
moves slowly forward, the donkeys seemingly unaware of anything that's happening uh, around them. And uh, now you all recognize the distinct sound, the clattering, the skittering of, of uh, bones uh, uh, smashing together. Um, uh, Eric, your, your character uh, receives a message from his deity, which is, uh, I believe, an elder god. Am I right? Correct. Um, and the elder god says, <laughs> which you know because you speak this, uh, mm -hmm. is you have my divine power uh, coursing through you. Uh, these are abominations. But if you can control them, that would be best. As is your will. Uh, so, um, no, no, the rest of you didn't hear that. <laughs> Thank God. I mean, he did say, as is your will, out loud. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you heard, you, heard, you heard him say that, but if you heard his elder god, you would all start bleeding out of your ears. I um, think we're all pretty used to him just randomly talking to his god out loud without just, any sort of... You always hear him say, as is your will, and, I and will that's... Say that You've probably, over the course of adventure, you're like, you like are fairly certain he has magical powers, but you're not, you're not entirely sure if it's just like he points out things that are happening that that is just coincidence <laughs> and claims it's his his, <laughs> his will. Exactly. Uh, so uh, out of the underbrush come uh, what looks like twelve skeletons. And uh, they are brandishing various weapons and have just tattered, uh, like what looks like remnants of leather armor and cloth, just sort of dripping off of them. Almost is what it looks like. And there's little little bits of of um, of sinew and and cartilage that are that's connecting the bones together. And <laughs> you just see. Uh, Deep in their sunken eye sockets, uh, you see what looks like a little, like a glowing blue orb uh, that seems to be the control uh, of them. And uh, uh, yeah, they are now approaching you. So uh, we are in a combat now. So roll, roll initiative. Quickly, everyone, focus fire on that orb. We'll, they'll lose control and dissipate harmlessly. I think, the, I think the orb is in each one of them, isn't it? Uh, what? <laughs> one orb or are there 12? Uh, there's 12 orbs. Yeah, he said it was behind Focus fire eyes. on those orbs. <laughs> <laughs> I got 11. I'm a seven. 11, seven. 10. 10. 14. I'm on okay. eight. Okay. I got three, and I'm getting rid of these dice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think I'll pop my dice out too. I'm having bad rolls so far today. I've got I've rolled that d20 twice, and it's been a natural one both times. I know we don't usually play this early in the morning, babies, but you can do this. It's fine. Don't get <laughs> don't get stage fright now. Don't, it'll be okay. We're fine. Oh my we are dog. Okay. My dog already got mad and left the room. Oh no! Oh, I, I think they Luigi. were talking to the dice. <laughs> yeah, I, I was talking to my dice. Yeah, I, that's they, what I thought. <laughs> they, they just they just need they just need a little bit of a pep talk because it's a little bit early for them. They don't yeah. usually they don't usually get busted out this early in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're gonna. Tom was also talking about his dice as well. My so yeah. My, yeah. my dog needs a pep talk no matter what time of the day it is. <laughs> that's, that's on true. the rail right there. That's a dog is always critting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, great. So you prepare your weapons and you are about to attack. Uh, when actually right before you are going to hit, because they only got a three in their initiative order, uh, just as you're about to use your weapon, you feel weightless. Uh, you start sort of rising up and uh, those blue orbs that you saw in their eye sockets um, sort of surround you and uh, start moving up and down around your bodies. And uh, the skeletons actually back away and they kind of look at you. They kind of tilt their heads and ah, open their mouths. 
but they're stunned for a moment and you start seeing the world fading out as I, you I are lifted off the cart and the world the world starts fading away from you uh well, usually at, this happens much later in the evening <laughs> uh Tatzelfest, thank you for resubscribing um as you are fading the the uh the world actually it's like a you know when a, a starship goes into warp and the stars like become lines uh and stuff like that that's kind of what happens with everything in the world all the trees and the skeletons and everything like that just sort of zoom into a line as you are thrust upward as fast as you've ever seen faster than than uh, uh a a wyvern in heat uh, is what you might use. I don't know. That's a weird that's way of doing it. No, yeah. own it. Own it. <laughs> own it, Dom. You said it. You own it now. It's yeah. Yours. <laughs> yeah. You bought uh, that. No, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. You know all about yeah, wyverns okay. and heat. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is very I I strange. Talk. Yeah. You are still like. like I you were able to talk to each other, but you, you, if you look to the side uh, and look at your compatriots in Shaw, uh, you are, uh, everyone appears to be elongated and, and stretched as you are being flung through space and flung through time. And you see images appear to you through what appears to be the, the, the ether in, in front of you. Uh, uh, images of a, of a blue animal creature that can roll into a ball and move quickly. Uh, uh, you see what appears to be a, 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 a person just turn into a, just a, a, a giant werewolf, a lycanthrope type thing. Uh, you... <laughs> You the see, beast appears to be altered. Yes, you see what might be what some may call a a harrier of space, uh, someone who harries space, a space harrier. Uh, as it you is are, the day the master spoke of, he <laughs> claimed reality for his own. And that's probably really creeping you all out uh, right now. But uh, but this is this is what's happening to you right now. You are being flung through through space and time. Nemesar, thank you for that tip. Very Sanity much. check. Oh wait, I, different game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all <laughs> of this stress. is kind of pretty. I just don't know if it's like gross or not, right? I don't this know. is pretty awful. Yeah, you all are very like stretched out, <laughs> and it's yes. weird. You want to? You want to? I also, don't I, like I, being this You want to stretch as well? Oh no. Tank looks very tall for once. I'm moving so fast. <laughs> <laughs> This Can is, we get off this ride? I'm kind this of imagining this. in Galaxy Quest when Nesmith is like pulled in that spaceship for the first time. Yes, <laughs> yes, one hundred percent that. That's a great visual. That's exactly what it is. Uh, so. You, as you're going, things start compressing, and you can see everyone sort of starting to move back into their normal, uh, their normal sizes and everything. The 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 goblinoids are you are no longer six feet tall. You are moving back oh, to your goodness. normal uh, size, and the world Damn around it. you is <laughs> is coming back into focus. And uh, what you see is a. Um, what looks like a medieval village, not unlike villages that you have seen before. And uh, you are, when it when the, the, the lights finally leave you, there is what sounds like a sonic boom and dust just kind of goes in a circle away from you. And oh. uh, okay, you find yourself in this village with a, um, a fountain in front of you. It's a, it's a lovely fountain, uh, but the, the water doesn't look like water that you are used to. The water looks um, brackish, almost. Um, uh, well, give me a perception check. Actually, before you do that, give me a constitution roll. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, DC 15. Yes, I mean, I beat it. just just the flat check, I beat it because I rolled a nineteen and I have a plus six to saving throws on Constitution. So nice. I got a twenty-one, and my I dice mean, lives to play more today. Uh, awesome. I got an eighteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Tom. Yeah, I got an eight. Okay, yeah. Eric. 
15. Oh, just made it. All right. I switched dice. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Tank, uh, you all land and you stop. Tank, uh, this you've never gone this fast in your armor. Uh, and the armor, apparently, that, that gem you needed was the thing that would probably protect you from going this fast. Uh, and uh, the armor was pretty heavy as you were flying through there, so you were, you're weighted down. And uh, you kind of double over and, and puke a little bit. Are you wearing a helmet? Of course I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So just, oh. just a little bit, a little bit made it into the helmet. Uh, you were able to swallow it all down, but... The rest of it. Come on, guys. It's not the first time I've puked in my suit. You need to not sanitize not even that. Today. Yeah, not even Ooh. today, really. I saw it this morning when you woke up. Yeah, uh, I think so, it's something to do with these gems that power my suit that give me a weak constitution. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll go with that. Give so you me... said you wanted a perception check? Yes, please. Perception. Is it daylight? Uh, no, it is not. It, 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 it actually, it, it, there's light out, but the, the sky is gray. It is, it is a dark gray. It is, um, And the sky is gray. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you, you would think that someone who, uh, sings and has a billowing cape would sing that, but, uh, they're not. I was. <laughs> instead, the person uh. who can't perform did it. Instead, the person who has negative one charisma did it. Uh, I got a 13 on my perception check done. Okay. I got a dirty 20. Ooh, nice. nice. I got a 10. I got 16. Excellent. Uh, activate Windex shield cleaning <laughs> protocols. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> And it just smears across. The... <laughs> I think I think this is I think this is worse what you're doing. Yeah. I'm gonna go check the fountain. I'm low on fluid. Ah! Oh, Megan, you're the best. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, what you all noticed uh, with those awesome checks, um, you noticed that the uh, the water is kind of smells of alcohol, actually, um, almost like an ale of some kind. Oh. Uh, oh, weird. I can I I'd like I'm going to sip it. You want to sip it? Okay. Yeah. Sip it good. Did I give you a cup? No. Okay, how are you sipping it? Cupping oh, it in your hand? Straw. With my hand. So you're going to stick your hand into into a fountain. That seems like a bad idea. Ooh, you don't we'll know what see. That's been. Yeah, but let him do it first and then we can decide for ourselves. <laughs> As someone with a eight wisdom, this seems like a brilliant idea. Okay. Wow. As uh, someone, someone with with so, someone with fourteen wisdom, I'm gonna let him do it first and see what happens. So you uh, so you go ahead and dip your hand into the water, and you drink. You take you sup of your hand, and um, give me a Constitution roll. Sure. Yeah. Uh, that's a 13. Um, you gained one point of wisdom. Oh. Permanently. Oh, my. How was uh, it? Was it gross? It was not good. <laughs> it It isn't tasty. I feel like I shouldn't do that again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could be sick. Stay yeah, away stay from with, me. Yeah, we'll watch out for this. Yeah, it was it was quite disgusting, actually. You can't get the taste out of your mouth. Uh, oh, and... so it was an IPA. <laughs> <laughs> Shade. And stream <laughs> over. Uh... Thanks very much for joining us yeah. for the thon, everybody. Make sure to not hug your friends and wash your hands. Uh, I'm going to go dip my full head in the fountain. <laughs> okay, yeah, because you gotta wash I gotta this, this off. You gotta yeah. get this taste, taste out of my mouth. Oh, yeah. This right. looks That's good. good. That's smart. Uh, so roll me a constitution. <laughs> there's, there's something so charming and delightful about you just saying, roll me a constitution. Yeah. <laughs> I have constitution. I have, I have 13 of them. Which one do you want? <laughs> Uh, if it's a saving throw, then I got 14. 14, okay. 
Uh, so you dunk your head into the fountain and you yeah. you you sip the the. Oh no, I don't sip. You gulp. <laughs> yes. Uh, and Guzzle. it it is the most disgusting thing you've ever tasted. It is it is not good. Uh, is but you are. <laughs> yeah. But you manage to, to keep it down, and you get a plus one to your charisma. Yes, I, at least I think I do. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea, but but you feel you feel a little bit more confident. Uh, okay, great. Uh, but oh man, was that disgusting! Uh, you're, and you you're talking to somebody who just licked his own vomit out of the inside of his armor. <laughs> you didn't have to tell me that, Tom. Just, <laughs> Just for clarification. All right. <clears throat> okay. Very good. It. What is? Have you figured out what this is yet? Yeah. What is it? Uh, it's, it's. It's some sort of charm enhancer. Don't you think? <laughs> oh. Don't you what? think? <laughs> he does appear more confident. <laughs> Don't you think? Well, this maybe. Is charming. This is oh. not. You're too close. You've gotten too close to me. Back up. Oh no, he's you... disappearing. Maybe you, need, maybe you need to to lose the charm. Maybe like a charm decreaser. Oh yeah, hey, I like that. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> this is not the. You don't smell good though. This is not the future we were. I was promised. This is not my my master's plan. Oh, what is this place? Oh, how did I, how did I get here? The day this will is not come my beautiful house. when he rends re reality <laughs> from us, yes. and all we know will will perish. But I think Grizzik just walks up to uh, Patton and smacks him. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> it is not all about the old Patton. Oh, and it's not about me. It's about the master. From behind you, you hear a halt. Who are you? And. You turn around to see what looks like a flump, but it is not a flump. Uh, there's something odd about. In fact, it's a lot of flumps, all with uh, their tentacles holding spears pointed at you. But they're not flumps. They are. They are dark. They are. They are a a blackish, a, a sort of a maroon kind of. A dark red color. Their eyes glow red, uh, and they have spikes at the end of their their tendrils, and they have what look like goatees around <laughs> mouths that you didn't know flumps had, but these ones do. Uh, and their little eye stalks are pointed at you uh, with glowing red eyes and spears pointed at you. Goodness Who are you? We had reference art. Who are you? I'm Persandral Amastasia, and yeah, you're being really rude right now. So who are you? I'm, I agree with my party. Looks like that. I just point at Lysandra like I'm agreeing with her, like, do you see what, what she say? Your, your politeness is not the best. Yeah. I forget you guys can't see that, but chat can. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hang on. We're, we're not here to cause any trouble. We actually don't oh, I missed know it. how we got <laughs> here. That's State, true. W where did you come from? Uh, the, the ground. We were, we were on the cart, and then there was light, and then we were here. And there were skeletons. Yes. And they were gross. We were going what? to fight them in the cart, but then they attacked yeah. us with yeah. weird light. You, you stink of humanity. I am there. not a human. I yes, am also not a human. A I, tremendous I, I, didn't, I didn't call you a human. I just said you stink of humanity. You uh, must hang around I humans. Mean, I mean, I have rolled in the hay a few times, but I don't think that's something to hold against me. <laughs> uh, and I've rubbed up against a lot of different humans, if that's what you mean. Ew. It's, it's kind of weird to watch. Yeah. Are Gross. you... I honestly don't think that's what he means. Are you... Adventurers? Oh, uh, yeah! Oh, yes. Sha! Sure. Yeah! Well, oh, sure. second only sure. to so a herald to my dark master. Destroy them! And they move what? forward with their spears. 
Um, no, 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 no. We don't want to hurt anybody. We're not here to adventure upon you. We we would really just like to get home. Yes, with what the, what the small one says. You. You're not here to destroy us. We don't no. know who you yeah. are. We don't know why we're here. I destroy nothing. My my master is the one who shut up. All reality. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one individual grump moves forward, and uh, this one is slightly larger than the other grumps, and um, has a bushier goatee, um, mm. and is a is a slightly grayer red, um, and floats forward. And kind of into your face, uh, faces, and uh, says, "My name is Butt Circle. I, I swear to God, I did not name this. Um, maybe I did. Uh, that was a long time ago. Anyway, my name is Butt Circle. You. And you are not from this planet. Oh, but we ha- planet. We have met individuals like you." And we do not like you. Oh. oh. We don't like maybe, you! I mean, it seems strange to stereotype entire group based on individuals you have met. Maybe we are better than them. Maybe they are like jerks. Could I persuade him to like us? I'm going to persuade him to like us. Listen, okay. what was your name? Mr. Butt Circle? Sir Butt Circle? But, uh, but Sir Kill. But Sir Kill. It's uh, with a Q. But Sir Quell. Oh. Am I saying it properly? Listen, Mr. Butt, uh, we come in peace. He floats and looks over and floats over and looks back and forth. Yes. Yeah. Are you going uh, to try to persuade me, music man? Yes. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't put it so on the nose, but I, I, for 24 points, I would persuade you. <laughs> Can I support by dancing to the music that? Oh yeah, well, he's definitely already, he, strumming every he single time I've talked. Just, so <laughs> I'll just do know. it anyway. Okay, good. Yes, I'm um, constantly strumming my lute. One eye is looking at Persanderol, and one eye is looking at Horlier, uh, and Horlier. Uh, Horlier. Thank you. And then the other eye from Persanderol moves back over to Horlier. And, uh, I see. You are, uh, perhaps here against your will. Yes, yes this is this yes. is an accurate description of the situation. And he motions with one of his tendrils back behind him. Lower your spears. And they just drop oh. their spears, because they don't normally carry spears. That's not what they do. Oh. Uh, but they wanted to appear menacing to you, um... Grumps are not a a welcoming people. My my compatriots and I have suffered much of late, and adventurers have been appearing and destroying our number in great uh, great swaths of destruction. Thank so much. So sorry to hear that. Uh, thank How thank you. How can we help you? Uh, well, I. I uh, kind of need to figure out why you keep appearing on our planet because oh. we'd rather you not. Uh, we would rather we not too. Yeah, if you can send us back, we would be very happy for this. Well, uh, can I just time out? Like, uh, I, on my way here, I was really tall. I, I traveled super, like, faster than I've ever traveled before. I drank out of this fountain and feel... A lot better. Like, I love your planet. I'd like to stay. Not wreck anything. Ho- ho- hold on. Like... Hold on. Hold on. You drank out of the sacred fountain of Falandor? I don't know that I drank out of it as much as I I, I immersed myself in it. You, whole head, yeah. Uh, you stuck your head in the sacred fountain of Falandor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had to. I threw up. Mm-hmm. You washed God, all that it. gross vomit off. A, a, a tentacle comes up and... He makes the oops face. Uh, <laughs> tell me. No, no. N- um. <laughs> what? Everything okay? 
So this fountain is sacred, you say? So maybe we probably shouldn't have touched it without permission? I, I, oh, I continue yeah. to play my soothing tune. What well, are you... If, if there's a religion I need to join or something, or I don't like a baptism, can you baptize me? I'd love to just dive in and have a baptism. I would recommend maybe a sign saying fountain is sacred if you're having so many new people show up that don't know your customs. Maybe like a let, just like That's an instruction saying hello. Well, mm. usually they just attack us uh, because we threaten them. Um, they don't usually stop and talk. So this is kind of a first. Uh, I would also uh, go me. with not threatening new people first. Maybe that might be why you get attacked. I'm I mean, just, we're I'm not trying to change your society. We're evil. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what we do. Uh, You're oh. evil. But also, uh, as you hear a tinkling uh, in the fountain uh, behind you, and uh, you see the back of one of the grumps and a stream of liquid coming out of the grump. <gasps> Ew! I mean, good and evil are concept by little minds. I like this one. I like this one. Hey, hey. Galvert, no peeing in the fountain right now. Hang on, I'm, Wait. I'm trying to square this. You say you're evil, but it's a sacred fountain. Yeah. What, can we can't have- We can't have evil we can't... things. Yeah. There are evil, what, there are evil gods. What Music Man about. said, yeah. We could totally have something sacred here. I, I have a question. Is entire yep. liquid in fountain from you peeing in it? Uh, so, did, did these two drink your pee? Yes. <gasps> Ew. Uh, number I, number one, kind of gross. Number two, is there any way we can arrange kind of like a milking situation? <gasps> <laughs> Ew. Yeah, this is why I don't like working with adventurers. Um, this is usually why we he threaten you. He apologized for his crassness <laughs> and base... Uh, just everything. Just Ironically, so I think she feels more confident asking you that because he drank from Fountain. It's so weird. Yeah. Part of my charm. Yeah. Snakey my charm. Situation. I have no idea how charming you were before this, but uh, he was it not does have odd effects on Not as much. Things. If you thought I was charming before, check this out. Hi. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Oh, God, he gets real close. Just back Hello. up. Just yeah, back you'll up. have to just back away from him. Uh, how, how we... Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Can we, can we, can we talk is... about this? Okay, this is too much. Oh, God. If we need to do this milking thing in private, I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Where's the, where's uh, the X card? Yeah. I was just about to ask, can we, where is it? Here, we'll do this. This is our X card. There you go. There you go. Uh, speaking of which, is there some way we can help you? <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. We, we, we've never solicited help from a adventuring party before. You're usually here to try and steal our, our urine or, 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 or something like that. Our treasures. And our vast treasures. But, uh, Wait, maybe... Wait, what treasures? I should not have said treasures. I should not have said that. Yeah, but you did, so now we're curious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yes, we have, we have not, do you want me to tell you about the treasures, or do you want me to tell you how you can help, uh, get your, get you home? I think I have a solution to both problems. Okay. Oh. We help you figure out why on your planet this is happening, and you reward us with treasure before we leave. I like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, counter offer. Uh, if you all make it out alive, and... Uh, we all make it out alive, uh, then we can discuss you getting treasure uh, if we can figure out how to send you home. Uh. Either way, we get ho get some treasure, right? Yeah, I feel like if we're stuck here, having some treasure might make life here easier because, you know, you got to have money when you move to a new place. Yeah. We actually we don't, don't, we don't use money here. Oh. What yeah, do you use? It's a barter-based economy. Oh, so, but the more treasure to barter, the more things we can get. See, I just, I'm, again, we're coming around to the same point again. Yeah. Yeah, but treasure's worthless here. What? Oh, 
then well, we then could just just give it to us and we'll take care of it. So it's not piling and up all and getting in the it's way. Worthless. When when the master comes, uh, your, your pitiful <laughs> treasures will okay. be nothing. Uh, butt circle slaps you with a tendril. <laughs> uh, oh. But no, I I like this one. No, you're not wrong. But I I'm I'm encouraging you. Uh, thank you, Simi David, for gifting five subs, and thank you, Fifty Four oh. Aqua Snakes, for that generous donation. Thank uh, you. Thank a, you. A reminder, and I'll stop doing it in butt circle voice because I have a lot of games to get through today. Uh, yeah. A reminder is that uh, 50% of everything we raise is going to the COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund. The other 50% is helping us keep our studio open during uh, all of this. So I appreciate you, uh, all of the tips and everything that you are bringing in. If you are new to the channel, if you're just watching us and you're not following, why not? Go ahead and give us a follow. Uh, we would love to have you join the party. And uh, if you follow, you can enter the raffle. Uh, it is free to enter. You just have to be a follower. And uh, if you are a subscriber, you get a bonus for raffle tickets. Uh, and right now we are uh, we have a grand prize that we are going to be giving away towards the end of the night. Uh, a $100 Hero Forge gift certificate. A uh, Dark Designs Nightbane source book signed by uh, a lot of the authors from Palladium. And, um, you know what? Uh, another, a dead rain source book, Hell Followed. Also, this is also signed. Uh, so if you are a fan of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and other strangeness, you might enjoy that or Heroes Unlimited. Um, all right. <sighs> okay. Uh, let me see. Just having way too much fun with backgrounds yeah. over there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So yes, uh, we'll work out the treasure thing, and you can play with the treasure or whatever. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, here's the thing: the uh, what seems to be happening is that adventurers come in, they wipe us out, and then the adventurers are wiped out, and then our dire crumpets are taken. Who? A what? Uh, our dire crumpets. Do do you not have dire crumpets where you're from? Yeah, what is I a heard them. No, I only have tasty crumpets. Oh yeah, I like those. Oh, oh you you eat your crumpets? They're like yes. a treat. They're like a dessert. Uh, barbarians. Yeah. Uh, what? Not hmm? me. No. no, only 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 it is disgusting. Only yeah, me. I'm I'm the only barbarian yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you I, eat crumpets, little one? No, I mean they're. They're like these little pieces of bread that, like, they're very delicious. And I mean, they're 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 not meat, but they're pretty good. Exactly, they're not meat. They're disgusting. Um, oh, they're tasty. Uh, when they're made right. Uh, butt circle brings his tendril up and and to his mouth and whistles uh, uh, loudly, and then calls Roshannon, and. You hear uh, a magnificent whinny, and over the heads of the flumps that were holding spears uh, arises a giant crumpet. <gasps> uh, it is like a crumpet that you are used to, sort of kind of an English muffin type, uh, if you've ever seen a crumpet in real life. But this crumpet is huge. It is giant. It is big enough to ride, and it also has... Uh, teeth with lots of pointy teeth oh. uh, and uh, what looks like maybe jam coming out of its mouth but it mm. could also e very easily be blood um, yeah, does, it, like the crumpets ew, does it roll? Is that how it moves? No, it flies Ah, and, does it? Yeah Amazing Yes, and so uh, Roshannon, the dire crumpet comes next to Butt Circle and, and hovers next to him uh, and he uh, swings a tentacle over and and gets on uh, Roshannon, and he says, "Follow me." Oh. And Do we uh, get, can we get our own crumpets? No. No. Oh. And he he takes okay. off. <laughs> seems, seems rude. Yeah. You can walk. You've got legs. Um, Wait, did our donkeys come too? Uh, Are donkeys no, there? the donkeys did not come. Oh, those skeletons are going to kill those guys. Those donkeys. Yeah. 
Yeah. Donkeys. Donkeys, <laughs> donkeys are pretty are smart, though. Head. Donkeys are pretty smart. Poor Don and poor Key. <laughs> <laughs> Key and Don. Perfect. But two donkeys. Uh, and away you go. And uh, you are paraded through the town. And you see, as you go through this village, uh, you see an, uh, uh, f- uh, grumps leaning out of windows and then grabbing the shutters and closing them as you walk through. Uh, you see grumps in, in bonnets and, and uh, grumps carrying uh, loaves of bread. And then they run back inside. Um, and... Uh, so you don't eat crumpets, but you eat loaves of bread? Okay, sure. Well, no, we don't eat loaves of bread. We just make them. What do you what do, do, with, do them? with them? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. What, what is there to do with bread? I mean... You, you eat, eat, eat it! it. You, you cut it in yeah. slices and put butter on it. It's very good, actually. It's tasty, uh, yeah. You're honestly, you're talking crazy talk right now, and I just can't deal with it, so just follow I, me. Can I just I, say, I I've think... never, I've never met anyone outside of... of of my homelands who who agrees with me about this they <laughs> they grow grass and then they crush it and then they what? bake it and eat it and it's strange they wh- what's wrong with mushrooms mushrooms right. are delicious love are mushrooms. mushrooms they're very yeah. good but on our planet we currently have a weird bread shortage oh well huh that's too bad if only we could work together more than this one time but it <laughs> won't happen will it uh, I mean, and as I mean, you go, that seems pessimistic. But <laughs> you know, he's chaotic evil. He's you know. I know. Um, you uh, see uh, in front of you looming is a, a what looks like a giant factory almost. There are smokestacks uh, coming out of it, and uh, uh, on over the doorway in a language you don't really recognize. Uh, but I will tell you, says the Tain Foundry. And, uh, he flies up to the door, the massive door, uh, and swings it open and beckons you to follow him inside. Okay, I guess we do this now? Okay. I guess, yeah. Let's do it! You enter the doorway? Hang on, this is, this is a foundry? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Great. I want to see what what sort of technological marvels await inside this wonderful bread-based economy. (laughs) (laughs) You are so confident. (laughs) You're right about that. (laughs) Say, this isn't a foundry that happens to make urine, is it? (laughs) Oh, no, no. (laughs) Hey, Tom, thanks for resubscribing. Uh... You, You did this, Tom. You did. You you really did do this. Class. An anonymous gifter just gifted Tom a a reset. Did I did I do this? No, I couldn't possibly. This was done many yeah. years ago. So when I so when I see you again in person, Dom, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to You're gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> I play a song of entering. A, a song I, of I entering? Don't, I don't wanna think about that. <laughs> I'll do a dance. Back, back, back in high school, we called it Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> Is it everything you hoped for, Dom? <laughs> and more. Uh... <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> as you start playing, uh, uh, Butt Circle points a tendril at a sign above the door that says, No Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Even denied. here. Denied. Yeah. Uh, oh, we know about Stairway to Heaven. Um, <laughs> God. <laughs> but you're okay oh. with Wonderwall? <laughs> I've said a lot of disturbing things during this chat, but I feel like that was the most disturbing thing I've heard so far. Oh, we know. We know about Stairway to Heaven. Jesus Christ. Apparently not here, Tom. Not not here. If there's no Stairway to Heaven, there's no way to Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. As Maru Ye says in chat, of course they love Wonderwall. They're chaotic evil. <laughs> Um, 
So as you enter through the, um, as you enter the foundry, you see uh, what look like giant um, uh, 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 boilers, and uh, there appears to be a foundry. There is there is an anvil, and there are there are other things. Uh, but there is a table uh, in front of you, and um, around the table is what looks like a um, there's a device. There are stones sort of in place in the tables, embedded in the table, and a crystal is in the center of these stones. And uh, Butt Circle comes around to the head of the table and places his... Uh, hey, hey, two hey, 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 hey. Yes? I figured it out. Okay. I have died and gone to heaven. Uh, I... I think I pointed at the stairway to heaven sign back there. No, this is definitely not he heaven. If such There's a construct no such exists, yes. It doesn't. Yeah. What what he said. Um well, 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 whatever your ethos is, I have made all the right choices in my prior mortal life, and I'm ready to uh, 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 assume my angelic form. Tank, I've told you repeatedly, your choices mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> Only he is and his choices matter. I mean, that I kind of agree with. Your misanthropic, nihilistic ways are so unattractive. <laughs> matters not. <laughs> Attraction. When the day comes when, when my master consumes all, none of this will matter. <laughs> okay, but until, until then, we're going to keep moving as we are, because, I mean, there's nothing else we can do for that moment, so. So you're we're saying an, an elder god that will eat everything? Like, devour everything? I th more just destroy our concept. It's our brains cannot conceive of what its plans will be because they are so small. Got it. Okay. It means he's making it up as he goes. Ah, understood. Mostly full of shit. To um, know the master's plans is to know madness. Uh, 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 what's on the table? Uh. Oh, right. Um, and as he puts his uh, two of his tendrils on the table, his eyes close and he bows uh, uh, slightly and the crystal glows. And from the crystal, a, uh, a globe appears made out of light, it looks like, um, and uh, begins spinning. And he's so pretty. Does it look like the light that surrounded us and brought us here? It does not. Okay. This is this is a yellow light. Cool. Uh, and he uh, says, "This is our this is our planet." Oh wow! Really nice music came on right now on the RPG. Oh. This is this is this is where you learn a lot about the Grumps. Uh, the uh, it says, "This is our planet," and all of the areas that you see uh, encircled are areas of incursion from adventurers like yourself. And you see spots on the map that are, uh, that bright, uh, briefly glow and then, and then uh, uh, die back down again. And they're, they're all over that you see, you see massive continents uh, and you see one uh, contiguous ocean around, uh, 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 around these, uh, this continent basically so it's it's almost like a, a massive island and um uh all over the place are incursions of of adventurers for all you are aware of and butt circle uh describes a uh that the fights basically have uh decimated the grump population but as they are taken the dire crumpets are are not killed, but they seem to be removed and taken away. Uh, and so they're, they are losing their dire crumpets, which are probably a Grump's best friend, uh, if Grump's did indeed have friends. And um, uh, this is, this is he, he has a slight uh, waver in his voice as he talks about losing the crumpets. Uh, Ro Roshan and, and I have 
we have been paired for uh, nearly a hundred of your years. And uh, I, I don't know what I would do if I were to ever lose Roshannon. But they are a part of me. And I, I would do anything to protect them. There appears to be some force that is collecting adventurers and sending them to our world to fight their own battles. We are unsure of who they are, other than that they're hovering over the planet. And then he lifts a tendril and and kind of draws it back into his body. And as he does that, the um, the globe... Uh, uh, kind of zooms in on one particular point and you see there's a dot uh, and over the dot are the words you are here and uh, this is where you are I don't know if I could make that any clearer but that's where you are no it's very clear okay good it's Uh, plain plain common yeah well we picked up some common along the way so I changed it to become common uh uh well thank you very much uh a panthrope uh apanthrope that's that's it that's it i got it apanthrope uh thank you very much for the very generous donation 250 dollars. thank you very much uh and welcome 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 uh everybody all new followers and new subscribers thank you very much um he shows you where you are and then uh, just outside of town, you see what looks like a giant saucer. Um, and he pulls he pulls up, he pulls uh, his other hand or his other tendril closer into him. And he uh, you see a um, you see the saucer close up and it looks to be like um, it looks. If you had to guess, you would say this looked like a a saucer from like a a teacup and saucer. Uh, it is mm. it is it is spinning, uh, and it looks like it's an upside down version of a of a uh, saucer, but uh, it almost looks ceramic, and uh, it has intricate designs along it. Uh, but you see blue lights uh, occasionally emanating from this saucer and uh as a light goes off you see again on the map a incursion point glow and then it disappears and then another blue light goes and then another incursion point Mm. uh we believe that this is the source of the incursions and probably how you were brought to our planet i believe if we can get onto the saucer we can stop the incursions and get you back home. Have they figured out a way to get up there? Like, like, Roshannon can fly, right? Why don't you just fly up to the saucer? It, it does seem like a good course of action. To yeah, it mm-hmm. does. Such as I, to go up and... uh, that's a, that's, that's great. Uh, I love, <laughs> I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen us, but we are literally floating brains with eye stalks and tendrils. Ew. But they're flying on a tendrils. dire crumpet. Yeah, but they're rubbery and he kind of like Wait. goes like this and it's kind of like bends a little back and forth. Oh, oh, so we shouldn't have been afraid of you at all. Ew. I mean, we do have greater numbers. Oh, yeah. Also, we can do this. And he shuts his eyes and a uh, shattering an ear piercing uh, shriek is you can hear in your head um, oh. but uh, apparently it only affects people from your planet so I don't know oh, it was mm. awful we'll never do that again yeah I don't know why you had to do that uh, I mean I, I was try just to ma- I try to uh, uh, remember it so I can make a song about it later I mean we were trying okay. to boost your confidence and then you'll make attack it's fine no it's fine it was almost as uh, disturbing as the the sounds of my master that are always in, present in my ears. Ew. Uh, 
Yep. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. It really is. Uh, so, um, I can get you onto the saucer, but uh, from there, I really cannot do much. You, uh, you may be primarily on your own. Yeah. We're used to it. I'm, I'm never on my own. Oh, that's very sweet. Did you all hear that? I wasn't talking about these chuckleheads. I was oh. talking about my family. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah, better not to use that kind. My master is always inside of me. That's, yeah, no, <laughs> that's, that's not. A little uh, weird. Yeah. Feet, feet. We know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and sometimes with me in, in physical presence, uh, and then I cast Find Familiar, and a little spider crawls up onto my shoulder. <gasps> Ew! My, my family is my armor, so technically all the time, I'm inside my family. Oh, no. Can we? Can we please stop that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I believe that X card has been very clearly defined. <laughs> um, great. No, that's awesome hearing what you're all inside of. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Let's just go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, well, we have a stable out back, and... As he uh, points to the stable, you hear a rumbling, and uh, all the grumps who are working in the foundry kind of freeze and stop, and uh, uh, Butt Circle kind of looks looks up, and you see uh, bits of dust uh, s starting to fall from the ceiling, and uh, the the ground is rumbling and shaking, and uh, uh, he's like. I Oh no. Oh no, take cover! Oh. Uh, do you want to try to take cover uh, somewhere in the foundry? Yes. Yeah, is there like tables and stuff we can jump underneath or? Yeah, there, there's, a, there's a, lot of, a lot of equipment and supplies and crates and other things that you can probably. Okay. I, I wanna, get... oh, go I, I wanna hide under something, but not equipment that then could then fall and crush me. So like if there's like maybe a crate or maybe something like that, like I don't sure. wanna fall under something that's heavier I, than the thing falling I, in the ceiling. I, I won't do a devil's bargain of what you hide under. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna crush oh. you with it, but, but that's good to know. Okay. Well, I want to get under the cleanest <laughs> space. Okay. That is. It's pretty clean. The grumps are pretty clean. I mean, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, they have oh, one right place where the they. I'm small. There are a lot of places I can take cover. So wherever is closest. Okay. Uh, probably under the table. Cool. Yeah, Which I, looks I'll, very sturdy. I'll also take cover, but just so you know, my cloak billows over my head as well. Oh, okay. I know it doesn't give me any extra protection, but it. it yeah. No, you get like plus twenty to your AC. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. I want to. Uh, I want to kind of like Dukes of Hazard my way across the table, but in the in doing so, I want to kind of sweep the little crystal map thing kind of under my arm and then stealthily stuff it into my backpack underneath the table. Okay. Um. Give me. Give me a stealth roll. How about sleight of hand? Okay. <laughs> Twenty one. Uh, yeah. So uh, no one seems to notice that you that you swiped the uh, the crystal, but uh, it did go off. Uh, but it, no one really paid attention. So yeah, you now have a crystal map. Nice. Um. All right. So you all hide, and uh, the um the roof just suddenly caves in as a massive object comes falling through the roof and in perfect three-point landing uh you see in front of you what looks like a teacup filled with tea and uh it then rises out of the dust and floating in um not dissimilarly to to the grumps and the dire crumpets, but it 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 floats, it hovers more or less over the ground, and it says, "Submit to me. My what? name is Iced Tea, and I am here to destroy you." And we are Why? in a combat. 
No! We're in a fight right now. Um, Why are me... we always in a fight with iced tea? Oh. I don't know. Give me your initiatives. We're rolling initiative right now, Riley. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, my initiative is four. <laughs> I got a 12. Uh, I rolled a 19. I have a 10. 14. 21. Oh, nice. Just to show chat, this is the dice that I'm rolling right now. It's the tiniest. It's so tiny. Oh, okay. I got sorry. A tiny dice. Who had 19? Who was 19? Aki. Ah. Me. Uh, 14? No one. Who was 14? I'm 14. Uh, 12? Me. 10? Me. And Ben with 4. Okay. They rolled a 12 as well. Megan, what is your, uh, what is your dexterity? It is mm, plus seven. Uh, where? Yeah. Okay. You go first. Okay. Okay. Uh, Eric, you are first up. You, what you see in front of you is a giant teacup with what looks like tea and some icicles or ice cubes, whatever, inside this tea. I submit to only one being, and that is not you. Uh, and then I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, it's <laughs> not gonna probably be great. It's a 13. Uh, a 13 does not hit. No. It did, so that's what I did. <laughs> uh, okay, great, uh, wonderful. Um, let's see, uh, Aki. So I'm gonna rage, and at, as I do, from my body floats up these tendrils of smoke and like almost, I wanna say like glowing energy and like you see over their shoulders like other goblins kind of floating about behind them. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to run up if I have enough movement to do so, and I'm gonna try and chop it with my great axe, my plus one great axe. Great. I'm gonna do a chop. Right okay. in its stupid iced tea face. <laughs> I roll the natural one. <laughs> Ooh, uh, you hate to see it. Um, you, as you. you you run up with your axe and you take a swing and before you can even do that, it attacks you. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, that's a 23. Ooh, that, that hits a little bit. Sure. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's 20 bludgeoning damage. Oof. Uh, uh, it, it do attack I have any resistance to any kind of damage? As yeah, if you're raging, area. you have resistance to all martial damage. So you would take half. Oh, right, believe. right. Yeah. So half of that. Sweet. So that's, what was it? 22? 20. 20? Only 10. Great. I uh, love playing barbarians. So what it what it did is it is it kind of swiveled in its saucer and the, the, the cup handle just smacked you and then you went flying ah! back. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Tom. All right. Um, first of all, engage defense protocols. And, uh, there's a little shimmering field that surrounds me that gives me five temporary hit points. Yay. Nice. Nice. Because I'm going to need them. Um, and then, uh, uh, Activate targeting beams, and I cast fairy fire on this thing. So it needs to make a DC 13 dexterity save. Uh, 13, you said? Yes. Um, it got a 12. Okay, so uh, it is uh, outlined in uh, blue glowing light, and it everyone has advantage to attack it. Yeah! Oh! Um, but you know what? 
but you know what? It's got legendary resistance. Ah. And if it fails a saving throw, it can choose to succeed instead. And so it didn't happen. So you see your fairy fire outline this teacup very briefly and then fade again, and it's gone. Got it. Mm -hmm. I at, see least he, at least we burned its resistance. That's good. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> uh, uh, was that it? That well, I mean, uh, unless you're going to give me bonus actions or extra actions to do, I'm I'm done for my turn. You, you've got 14 more actions. I think that's how D and D works. Um, yeah. uh, Megan. Yes. Okay. I want to. I see. I have two weapon fighting. So I'm going to take my two short swords and I just want to stab it. Okay. Whoa, what happened to your arms? <laughs> <laughs> They're double jointed. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Stab, stab. Uh, um, I got a 14. Uh, that did not hit. Wow, that was... Do I roll for each weapon or is it just one roll uh, for both? You roll for each weapon. Okay, here's my other weapon. Oh boy, um, <laughs> that is a thirteen. Yeah. So. So no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I just stab it, and I feel like it just goes clink, clink, right, right into it. And yeah. Go, oh. Yeah. Basically, you you stab right into and uh, right into the the T actually, and oh. uh, the T kind of. It's. It looks cold. It looks like iced tea, but oh. it uh, kind of moves almost. One might say uh, gelatinously. Ew! Something's wrong with your tea. There's nothing yes. wrong. My tea is perfect. Spill oh. the tea on that tea. Ooh, and now it goes. Uh, okay, everybody. Um, give me a, uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Cool. Mm, 14. Dirty 20. Nice. Likewise. Nice. Natural, no, I got a natural 20. Natural Ooh. 20. Ooh. Awesome. I got Which an is... 8. Okay. I, I, I always, I got a 10. Okay. 17. Okay. Uh, Patton and Persanderol. Uh, this teacup is massive, and uh, it, you saw it easily deflect your blows, Persanderol, and you are both frightened for <gasps> the next minute. I, I oh. can't be frightened. Oh, wait, oh, yes, I can. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be charmed. Ah, yeah, no. Well, give uh, Tom a few more tries, and maybe you can be. No, I can't be. <laughs> no don't you do it, about, Tom. Don't you now? do it. <laughs> hey, 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 Patton. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing fine. What What are you doing later? I have no idea. You You want to? So uh, you want to so, get? This is my fault. I'm sorry. You want to get some drinks out of the fountain? <laughs> no, oh, boy, not particularly. <laughs> So just FYI, uh, as, as a frightened creature, you have disadvantage on your ability checks and attack rolls while uh, the teacup is within line of sight and you mm. can't willingly move closer to it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the rest of you, you, you see almost a, a shimmer being given off by the teacup. Uh, it, it, it looks like it, it sent something out, and all of the grumps, except for Butt Circle, uh, just flee. They just take off, and Butt Circle stands their ground. Uh, Riley. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and monk it up. Uh, I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna spend a key point so that I can do, uh, what is the, on, sorry, class features. Uh, I'm going to spend one key point to activate um, Fangs of the Fire Snake, uh, which means that when I use my attack action on my turn, I can spend my one key point to increase my reach to 10 feet with my unarmed strikes for the rest of the turn. And uh, if I hit with these attacks, I deal fire damage instead of bludgeoning. So, okay. uh, so that's the first thing I'm doing. 
Um, so I get two attacks and a bonus attack that are all unarmed strikes right now. So I'm just gonna roll all three now to save time. Great. Um, okay, so uh, the first unarmed strike is a 22. And then the other two are, are probably going to miss because one's an 11 and one's a 10. All right. The first one hits. Okay. I'm going to spend an extra key point. Uh, and now that's going to also do, um, it's going to do an extra 1d10 of fire damage. So let me roll my damage for the first attack and then Great. I'll roll the d10. Perfect. So I have a, the, the attack damage is going to be a d6. And then the fire is going to be the D10. They're both going to do fire damage. Okay, so the attack damage does seven fire damage, and the other one just does three fire damage. So a total of ten fire damage. Okay. Oh no. Because I'm thinking maybe some fire would would be bad for the iced tea. I'm trying to heat that tea up. Trying to melt that ice. Boil it. Nice. And he um. There's like a little hissing sound, and steam kind of comes up. And both the teacup and the uh, tea within it kind of like shift around a little bit and and sort of uh, shift out of their forms and then back into the teacup and tea. Um, mm. You have done a little bit of damage to it. Okay. <laughs> uh, ben. I'm watching all of this happen. I, uh, I swing my loot to my back and I point mm -hmm. my finger at the iced tea mm -hmm. and unleash hellish rebuke. Okay. So I'm like, you stop hurting my friends. And he Great. bursts in the flames. Uh, it's a dex, it's a saving throw dex 15 for him. It's a, it's a dex saving throw. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he failed. What happens on a failure? Uh, then I roll three D 10 damage. Uh, five, eight, <laughs> nine. I burn him for nine. Nine points of damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good work. It's what a reaction. I see you, chat. Um, chat's backseat GMing. Which is fine, I don't care. Uh, okay, top I of the care. order. I care, respect the Dom. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I honestly don't, I don't care. Uh, I don't actually, actually care either. It's just... You get to GM later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, top of the order, Eric. You are running away right now. Uh, well, I can't move closer. I don't have to run away. I just can't move any closer. Sure, yes, yes. Cool. So, um, so as, as I sort of cower, and, and I'm going to whisper to my spider uh, that it's like, Master, I need your aid. Uh, and I'm going to cast uh, Infestation. Uh, so uh, the the tea, ice tea has to make a constitution save. Uh, okay. Uh, is a 29 going to do it? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> so, yeah, a bunch of bugs show up, but nothing happens, I guess. Cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, bugs. I love bugs. Uh, I also love B Right UK, who uh, just tipped $25. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Uh, all right. Um, you can roll. Uh, you can make a, uh, a save to not yeah. be frightened. Yes. Uh, what, what is this? Wisdom? Uh, yes. Okay, then I got a 17. All right. You are no longer frightened. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Aki. Yep, I'm gonna try and, and hit him again. Alright, gonna... you brush yourself off and get back mm. into it. Yeah. Chop, chop. Hey, that's much better. Uh, that is going to be a 24 to hit. That does it. Uh, let's see, that's gonna be it. Barely. I'm just kidding. Uh, D12 plus six damage because I'm raging. Uh, uh, so that's only eight. Wait. 
Yes, eight damage for that hit, but I get to strike. I get to attack again, which I forgot the first time ah. is that I get to attack. Yes. So, whoops on that one. No worries. Sorry, folks. Uh, uh, second attack is going to be a dirty twenty. Um, so that hits. Uh, that's much better on damage. That's 11, 12, 13 for the second hit. Ooh, very good. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I think for my bonus action, I'm just going to disengage and get just outside of its, uh, outside of its, uh, melee striking range. Great. Okay. You do. Uh, great. Tom. Well, uh, I don't know how well this is going to work, given that this thing just rolled a 29 constitution save. But uh, I am going to burn one of my two second level uh, spell slots here and cast Shatter on it, because I'm assuming since it's made of inorganic material such as stone, crystal, or giant teacup, it has disadvantage on the saving throw. It's a DC 13 con save. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but I, I do need to uh, uh, mention something that because I'm raging, the first creature I hit with this attack on my turn has a disadvantage on any attack that isn't against me. And when the target hits a creature other than me, that target has resistance to damage dealt by the attack. Great, okay. So it's Ooh. it's gonna focus on you then. You are taunting you're taunting iced tea to attack you. Um, sounds good. Okay. Uh, Constitution thirteen, uh, DC yeah. with okay. disadvantage though. Disadvantage with disadvantage. I mean, I assume since it's made of inorganic material, right? Unless it's somehow made of some sort of weird fleshly bone. Um, organic ceramic. What is is a mimic um, inorganic material? Yes. <gasps> I don't know. I want to say yes, <laughs> but probably not. Let's see here. I would say mimic is organic. Yeah, probably. I think it just. I don't think it's actually made of the stuff it shapeshifts into. I think it looks yeah. like it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine though. That's fine though. I I will give it to you. Uh, so, yeah, he got a twenty-eight. Uh, okay. I think it takes half damage, I believe, right? It so, takes it yeah. takes half. Great. Okay. Half damage. So and how much? All, well, I'm trying to figure that out. I have to use dice for that, right? Or can I just pick a number? Pick a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah any that, number. That's how this, that's how this game is played. If you pick it right, then I give it to you. No, that's not. So how it four, works. fourteen is the full amount. So with the saving with the save, it's seven points of uh, thunder damage. Great. Good job. Okay. No, that was not great. I can do a lot better than that. <laughs> Just by uh, punching it. Uh, <laughs> not, Megan. Not doing that again. Uh, okay, this time, because I'm scared of it and I don't want to get any closer, I'm going to try to shoot it with my bow. Okay. So, my long bow. Oh, good. I rolled a four plus seven. So that's 11. <laughs> I think I shoot the iced tea again. <laughs> uh, you you rolled an 11? Yes. Yeah. You, uh, yeah, you, at the, so the arrow is now at the bottom of the T. I should stop aiming for the T, I guess. <laughs> uh, and now it attacks. Uh, once again, uh, everyone, roll me a wisdom saving throw. DC uh -oh. 14. Oh, God. I'm a 13. Uh, is so this close. A, mm. Is this a spell that it is casting? Uh, no. Okay. I got a 15. I rolled a 13. I rolled a critical fail. Oh, no. Uh, I, I, uh, I have a 16. Okay. Uh, so everyone who got below 14. Oh. Hang on, I, I have advantage on all wisdom and charisma saving throws because I'm this weird goblin thing. Okay. 15, I made it. Yay! Oh, nice, nice. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll burn one of our two inspirations and I'll roll again. Nope, that was worse. I just wasted that inspiration. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I still failed. Does anyone else want to use their inspiration? 
I mean, I'll try. We have two inspirations each, no, don't keep... we? Yeah, no, you have I... two each. Oh, two each. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I thought yeah, it was yeah. two for the whole party. No, no, cool. no. Okay, I'm a benevolent nice. overlord. I know, Ruben's told me many times. <laughs> it did, uh, did not work, Eric? It did not. Okay. Uh, so, again, uh, everyone who got below 14, uh, this being's frightful presence uh, just is... You've never seen anything quite like this. And while while some of you are able to make hits on it, it, it appears to not be slowed down at all. And, uh, and it is about to attack. So you are again frightened for one minute. Uh, actually, Eric, you are not frightened. Uh, you are immune to its frightened presence because you have been frightened already. Okay. So, so you're okay. But anyone else who got under 14... You are frightened of this. So I I can still attack it, but I can't move closer to it, but I don't have to run away, right? Correct. Correct. And you have disadvantage on your attack or any uh, okay. any ability roll. Oh, that's going to be a lot of rolling happening soon. Yeah. Am I still frightened of it? Uh, yeah. Board? Yeah, for one minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, uh, yes. Uh, although you, you no, sorry, at the end of your turn, you can roll a saving throw to become unfrightened of it. Mm. So, so go ahead and do that because we we skipped over that. Saving throw. Uh, a wisdom what? saving throw. Wisdom. Yeah. Uh, I got a fourteen. Okay, so you are unfrightened, and uh, you are also immune to its uh, frightened Ooh. presence now. Uh, okay. Power. But then it it recasts frightened presence, and so aside from Eric and Megan, who are immune to it at this time, anyone else who got below fourteen uh, is frightened of it. Uh, and now it is going to, uh, it's going to try to bite Aki. Um, yeah, I'm currently just outside. I, I moved outside of its melee attack range, so. Uh, well, then it, it will move towards you. Yes, it must do that. <laughs> yes. Uh, and, uh, will a 20 hit? Yes. Uh, okay. But, it, but, but that, isn't that the first attack against someone that it's made? Yeah, but it's, it's still oh, against it's me. It's only, uh, oh, okay. it's, it's only if it's against somebody, somebody else. else. Okay. Yeah. You're the closest thing to it right now. Actually, yeah, basically at this thing. point though, the wisps of smoke and glowing energy have left my, uh, my vicinity are now hovering close to all of you as like protectors. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, right. Cause you're an ancestral path, right? I am. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, so 25 piercing, two cold damage. So 27 damage altogether. So I take the two because I'm not resistant to that. But the 25 halved is going to be... 12, I think. Is it 12? All right. or, or is it 13? Does it round up? I don't know. Uh, we use, uh, That's up to you, GM. I'll say 12. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, okay. Um, and then it's going to, uh, uh, also attack you twice with its claws. <laughs> it has claws? <laughs> yeah. Um, it, they're not really claws. They're not really claws. What happens is the tea sort of, uh, expands out of the top of the teacup and, uh, just forms two fists essentially. And it reaches out Ew. and, and rakes across. Uh, let's see. Uh, does a 28 hit? Yeah, okay. That's a 12 slashing damage, so you take Is half that of that. Is that with its advantage? No, 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 sorry. It doesn't get its advantage on, her, on them, does it? No, so. mm-mm. Uh, it does not. Uh, that's one. So that'll be six, correct? 12 halved to six? Yes, 12 halved to six. Does a 13 hit? No. Okay, then it misses on the second one. Uh, and uh, so it takes one mighty swing and, and it kind of rakes across across you, uh, but you stand your ground and are able to take that. The other one just kind of whiffs over you uh, as, as it wasn't quite expecting you to to uh, hold up against it uh, like yeah, you did. Yeah, just spits the blood out of their mouth and growls at, at the iced tea. Mm. Gripping their great axe in their hand. Their great axe is probably as big as they are. <laughs> You've done it awesome. now, Ice T. I 
don't think so. Uh, and just icy breath comes out of it. Uh, Riley. Ew. Uh, I think just to save us from having to let me sit here while I roll six dice, I'm going to instead use my uh, my racial trait, which is that once per day with this trait, I can cast Burning Hands at the third level. Um, and so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I need it to make... So I'm going to put a 15-foot cone of fire comes out of my hands towards it, and I need it to make a dexterity saving throw. 22. Yeah, that's going to pass. Um, all right. And then, so I'm going to roll my 3d6, <laughs> and then it'll take half this damage. Okay. Okay, so I rolled 10 damage, so it takes 5 fire damage. Uh, and then I am going to roll to try to break the um, the frightened, frightened. Okay, I got a dirty 20, so I should no longer be frightened, right? You are no longer frightened, and you are Ooh. immune to its frightful presence. Yeah, you don't scare me, Ice-T. You don't scare me at all. But only for the next 24 hours. Okay. Ben? I, I was having a moment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? Um, I believe you are also afeard. I am super afeard. afeard. So that means I can't get, I can't move towards it, right? Um, Correct. So, uh, uh, Aki... What is your what? What are you at for hit points? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty. Bl I'm bloodied. I'm I'm less than half right now. Okay, so. I'd like. I'm gonna use healing word. Ooh, on Aki, uh, which is a level three. So uh, let's see. <laughs> Oof. One, two, uh, five. Uh, so heal you for nine. Thank you. Woo. Nice. Um, and then I stay away. <laughs> uh, wise. Okay. Yeah. Uh, top of the order, Eric. All right. Uh, let's stop messing around. I'm gonna cast Hex as a bonus action against Ice T. Then I'm gonna try and throw another Eldritch Blast. We'll see how well that goes. Uh, let's see. That would be a 24 to hit. That hits. Okay. Cool. So that's going to be... Let's see. Uh, that would be 25 damage. Or 15 damage. No. 15. 15 damage. Yeah. Coming right at you. Good, nice, nice work, uh, Aki. Uh, yeah, you guys are doing some pretty significant damage to Ice T here, but it is still it is still coming at you. Yep, bring it on. Bring it. Um, Ooh. you're next. Oh yes. Okay. Oh wow, that came back to my turn really fast. Good job, everybody. Okay, so I am going to, yeah, keep uh, slicing at it with this thing until uh, I can slice no more. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm just saying that if I fail this first attempt at this roll, I'm gonna use my inspiration to roll it again. Just claiming okay. that up front. Great. Uh, but I don't think I will need to because that's a dirty 20 on the die, uh, on the roll. Uh, so that's gonna be d12 plus six uh gosh this d12 does not like me that's eight for the first hit i'll use you for the next one and then i'm gonna go ahead and roll my second attack uh i'm gonna use my inspiration for that i rolled a natural one um <gasps> great uh so yeah that second one definitely does not hit mm -hmm. i uh, rolled a two the first time used my inspiration and then rolled a natural one Okay, uh, yeah, you do not hit. Uh, I I don't do fumble rules or anything like that for natural ones in D and D. So uh, nothing nothing untoward happens to your character. But uh, but yeah, you whiff incredibly, uh, and are, do not manage to score a hit against it. Unfortunately, um, 
Uh, Tom. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Circumstances are dire. I want to take the crystal map orb thing and see if there's a way that I can re-engineer it and re-rig it to travel back in time to earlier this week and convince everyone in chat not to be a bunch of dicks to us. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that is that possible? Is that something that my character can do? Is it, it's, it, yeah, it's entirely possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, barring that, uh, what I'm going to do is um, Tank is going to... <laughs> Boldly stride, stride forth, uh, and uh, and step up next to Aki, and uh, punch this thing twice with his thunder gauntlets. Great. So uh, you just get you just get a face full of bloody teeth grin from from Grizzik as they <laughs> as they kind of just look at you gleefully. Welcome, here, welcome so back. Like cube took over my stream while we were gone. Oh my God, that's exactly what you're fighting. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to pull back. it out earlier, but welcome back, everybody. This is my favorite Funko that I own now. All right, we will Very we cute. will maybe go a little bit longer. That's that's what the uh, the interstitials are for is to is to cover that distance. Ben, so ben, hey, uh, did, ben, did everybody miss us? <laughs> did, we, did, did you miss us? We, we were right here waiting for, for you to come back. We're all, oh, we're all back boy. Here. Wow. Are we all okay. doing this? Is this what we're doing? Ah. Are we just... <laughs> no. Hi. Did you miss hey. us? We missed you. We missed you a lot. Hi. Hi. Mm. A long time on my I makeup. hope there's a clip of that gonna, that's going to happen. <laughs> Ethan, thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, you all were, uh, before my computer decided to take a dump, uh, this is, this is what we're trying to, uh, we're, we're raising money for is to hopefully <laughs> pay our rent and upgrade our equipment because <laughs> man, this computer is pretty much at its max right now. But, uh, we were in the middle of combat. I believe Tom, it was your turn attacking yes. iced tea, a teacup, uh, full of tea that is fighting you and seems to be quite strong. Yeah, he had actually hit you with two attacks and asked if they hit. I think that the fact that it killed your computer is an indication that they <laughs> yeah. definitely hit. <laughs> yeah, let's let's say it did. Uh, regardless, give me give I, me a, give me damage I, rolls. I rolled. 20... He rolled a seventeen and a twenty-four. So yeah, yeah. no, it was a twenty-three and a twenty-four. So yeah. Okay, those both hit. All right, uh, double punch. Oh boy, this is not great damage. Um, so they each hit for six points of thunder damage. So that's twelve points total. Okay. Unless it has like some sort of chat induced damage resistance, in which case to thunder. Chat, chat, give me two hundred dollars right now, and I'll add thunder resistance. <gasps> chat, chat. All right, chat, let me get my chat, wallet. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I'm just kidding. Eric! I'm just kidding. Oh shoot! Well, yep, it's got thunder resistance. Um, uh, thank you, Adventures of Tony. Uh, what? Uh, for that, uh, wow! No, that that was half. It has it takes half damage on that because that was a hundred a hundred bucks. So, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. Thank you very much. Thanks you for supporting the channel. Uh, and uh, I will reiterate that we are also raising money for uh, the uh, COVID nineteen solidarity response fund, which is uh, through the World Health Organization to try and uh, uh, alleviate some of the difficulties that people are having uh, right now due to COVID-19. Uh, and the that's 50% of everything we raise goes there. Thank you, Thomas W.D. Young, for another $50. Ooh, uh, thank you. Okay, you are doing pretty well. This thing looks I, pretty battered. I have to say, I did not realize how badly chat wanted to troll me when I was a player and not when I was a DM. I guess, I guess it's just... <laughs> It's a universal thing, no matter what side of the screen I'm on. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Okay. All right. Uh, Megan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, man. Can I, like, can I hide and uh, then shoot it? <laughs> uh, I believe you can. Sure. Yeah. Attack, some uh, sneak attack. Oh, I mean, that's just damage. But, well, it's worth a shot. Okay, I'm gonna shoot it with my longbow again, and this time I'm gonna aim for not the T. 
Okay, great. I aimed directly for the T because I rolled a one. <laughs> You're just like, that's, di- okay, it's just the easiest thing to try and hit. Um, I just do you- your dice, pretty- Megan. Do you want to yeah. use your inspiration to roll again? Yes, I will. Let me grab this die. This die is purple. It'll do better. Okay, okay, that's better. Um, that is 22. That hits. Yes! Okay, so now... All the damage is coming. Okay. Wow, that's that's a lot of damage. Oh my god. Okay. Uh 3d6 and a d8. Plus 4. Um uh, where's another d6? Here we go. 3d6 plus a d8 plus 4? The 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 if I get the sneak attack uh is an extra 3d6 damage. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Uh okay. So you could end this right now if you roll uh, really well. uh, Nine, ten, eleven. I got nineteen damage. She sure did. It's still up. Ah, (laughs) so close. Uh, so Ice T um is uh this. You have you have done much to this, uh, but uh, uh, to to Ice T to try and stop it. But it it swoops back and it separates the saucer from the teacup, and then the saucer comes up I- incredibly fast. And anyone within ten feet uh, must roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh no! I have advantage on those. It's a DC 19. Well, I got a uh, 22, so I think I'm okay. You, Actually, 23. I don't know where I am. Am I within that? Because I, I never advanced to it. Uh, no, you're still, you're still, I think you're beyond 10 feet. Okay. Yeah, I only got a 17. Yeah, I I'm also at, got I'm at, I'm at just, just 10 because I was doing those things at 10 feet away. Yeah. I'm up there with with Aki's character, so I got a 17 as well. I got a 14. I don't know if I'm close enough. Um, you are not close enough. So, okay. so I believe Eric, Megan, and Ben, you are far enough away. The rest of you are. Within. Yeah, my range is 300 feet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, those of you who are close enough and failed, you take a uh, 13 points of damage. Ooh. That's bludgeoning, correct? Uh, and then... Yes, it is bludgeoning. So and, that's only six for me. Uh, and you are knocked prone. <gasps> oh, no. Dom, do I take half of that for succeeding? Uh, uh, no. Oh, cool. Uh, no, you just, you, you made it, so you don't take any. Sweet. Um... Okay, so that was that was Megan. Uh, that was his legendary action. Uh, now he's going to take his regular action. Um, My goodness! Uh, you see, um, so he he did that massive blowback, essentially just creating this gust of wind that that sent uh, people flying. And now he is uh, uh, how far how far away are you all? I'm at thin melee range. I'm well, about 10 feet away. I, I, do we get knocked prone or do we get knocked back? I'm sorry. You get knocked prone. Oh, okay. So when you get up again, ain't never going to keep you down. <laughs> Don't count on it. Don't count on it. <laughs> uh, okay. He uh, rears back and emanating from the top of the, the cup, uh, just this blast of cold air comes flying in a cone. Uh towards all of you uh it's a dc oh my god this is okay dc is it, is it a, 19 constitution save this is going to hit oh. anyone within melee range is this a spell oh. is this a spell um it is not a spell Ugh. i'm sorry don't forget to use your inspirations you get all right two. what are we, what are we rolling again sorry uh dc 19 constitution save constitution okay so i'm gonna use my second inspiration okay so we each get two? Is that is, I'm missing? Yes, good. each get two. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I got a nineteen. Woo! I got a twelve. Ooh. 
Natural 20 with one of my inspirations. Okay. Oh. Uh, Aki, you are hit directly by this cold blast. And uh, it... You are you are already knocked back and on the ground, and it just waves over you, and it is tremendously cold. This is the most cold you have ever felt in your life. Ah, I hate uh, it. Um, it, it does sixty three cold damage. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh! What? Uh, how are you, how you doing? I am unconscious. Dead? No, because it's not twice my my total hit points. I'm just unconscious. All right. Um, Wait, is it twice the total that you have, or your your hit points to, like in general? It's twice. It it has to go twice. Yeah, uh, it has to go your total. Pat, your total pat, max hit points. Correct? Yes. Yeah, I'm yes, fine. Yes, I'm just yes. unconscious. Yes. Uh, no, I meant 63 points of damage, chat. No, not 63, no, 63 points of damage. That was 12 D8. I'm a, I'm in danger. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I have D3s, Dom. If you need me to roll these D3s, I'm happy to roll. These I, I don't, D3s. no, I don't want D, I don't want your D3s. Get your D3s out of let my me, let business. Me check. Uh, Aki, all right. Aki, you take... <laughs> 15 points of damage. Okay, <laughs> moving on, moving on. Uh, Riley, Riley, right. you, you have uh, an you opportunity. Yeah, to it's take a one off, out. so let's just burn some key points here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's that, uh, that, uh, Thanks to the Fire Snake again. So I'm going to roll, burn a key point for that. I'm going to roll some, some, uh, attack dice here. All right, I'm going to spend that inspiration to roll that one again uh and i got natural 20 on that one Woo! so I, Woo! Have 20, I have a 16 and i have a uh, 23 16 and a 23 to hit oh no you had yeah, it that's your damage no those are all to hit i did i just did three oh those attacks. are all the hit two attacks and a bonus attack uh so anything over an 18 hits okay so uh or that's anything 18 and over hits. That's two of them, but one of them was a natural 20, so I'm going to mm -hmm. go ahead and roll. Okay, so I roll uh, my damage is d6, so I'm going to roll. Don't roll a 1. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so that's 5, 6. That makes that 10, and then uh, that's going to be 11 fire damage. And then uh, does that take it down? Yes. Okay. So describe right. how you shatter this teacup. All right. So I see my friend Grizz go down, and then I just like get furious, and I like rip like my hair. My hair, which we've canonically established in chat now, is uh, is a racial haircut from Friends because uh, I had that <laughs> racial trait. Uh, but it's on the fire, and the hair just like bursts into flames and like flies up in the air, and then I just like. I jump forward, I kind of shove Grizz out of the way because I'm like, I don't want any more damage to happen to them. And I kind of do like a, like a punch and a punch and then I do like a roundhouse kick in the air. And each one has like a sweeping uh, flame. And what happens is, you know how when you uh, take like a, like a teacup or a micro, like a thing in a microwave and, and you wash it and it's not as heat resistant as you think it does and it gets a crack down in it, mm -hmm. that crack just forms in and then the next hit, the crack gets bigger. And then with that sweeping kick, it just rips it right in half. And all that, that, that iced tea inside starts to boil. And then I go, nobody hurts my friend. Nice, nice, excellent. Uh, and with that, uh, iced tea shatters, and uh, you hear sort of a disembodied voice go, "No!" And uh, as as steam just rises up from your fire punches and kicks uh, from from this ice, and iced tea has been defeated. Well done. Uh, I have spilled the tea. <laughs> you have spilled tea this day. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, see me, David. Uh, def defeated. <laughs> Uh, uh, deteated? No, that doesn't work. Um, anyway, that's awesome. So, you butt circle then, uh, the butt circle the grumph, as if you're new to the channel and just watching, butt circle the grumph, uh, then says, 
Excellent. We must away and guides you to the dire crumpets, which you uh, you can. We will take care of your friend, and okay. uh, they they will uh, take Grist off and Grizzik. Um, Grizzik. Uh, Grizzik. Um, I just called you. I'm Grizzik. <laughs> You're unconscious. <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, and uh, away you go. And that is the end of this session, the very first <gasps> session. Oh. So thank you very much. You have defeated Ice-T. Ice-T was an adult white dragon uh, oh, in oh. Ice-T form. So uh, you actually only did half. You only got halfway there. But because we were... Yeah. <laughs> let us have it, Tom. I'm 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 I did. I literally did let you have it. <laughs> uh, uh I punched so, it with fire. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that works, man. That works. On fact, the real ice tea in our universe is also an adult dragon in human form. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it's true. Mm-hmm. It's true. Canonical. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, w- remind everyone uh, where you're coming from, where people can find you, and uh, and then we will say goodbye to you, and then welcome our next group in. Uh, starting with uh, Riley. Hey, uh, again, like Dom said, I'm Riley, and you can find me on the Saving Throw D&D show, The Broken Pact, which we hopefully will be back soon. We're still waiting to find out. Uh, but until then, you can, you can catch all of our back episodes. I think that we're actually on the, the, the D&D channel, but Dom, if I'm not mistaken, you have made a playlist on the Saving Throw YouTube channel that has a lot of back episodes, right? It's true. And also and a, a podcast. podcast. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can check out the, the, the Broken Pact. We had uh, two seasons in Ravnica and a season in Avernus. So check those out. And uh, you can also find me on the Game of Rassilon Doctor Who role-playing game podcast. Mm. I play the Doctor. Excellent. Uh, Eric. Hi. Uh, you can always follow me on all the social media as mostly Eric, which like Twitch and whatnot. And you can catch me here. Uh, April 14th is the return of Pirates of Salt Bay, our uh, pirate-themed Dungeons & Dragons show uh, with a, an incredible cast of, of characters. Uh, so you can catch me there. Oh, we're getting raided. Yeah, thanks. Uh, the Shield. Dat Network. Shields up, everybody. Hey, Network. Hey, guys. Shields up. Uh, welcome, 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 our dragons Do and things enough? friends, uh, and several several dragons and things folks will be playing in a later game today. I think uh, y'all they play later. Uh, Megan. Yes. Oh, hi. Yes. Um, I'm Megan Caves. You can find me at Megan Caves on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me here at Friday nights of Wild Cards or Savage Worlds game. Um, you can also find me on Dark Lanterns, which is our uh, pre-taped. Uh, D&D Eberron uh, uh, show that you can find on our YouTube and Dungeons and Dragons YouTube and since Dragons and Things folks are here you can also find me over there on Tuesday nights um, playing uh, Dat Vantum so yeah lot, lot, lots of fun places hi everybody and uh, uh, Dark Lanterns is also available as a podcast right now yeah. uh, if you are a Patreon backer of $10 and up all of the uh, Dark Lanterns episodes are available to you right now. If you are not a Patreon backer of $10 and up, uh, you can listen to up to episode six right now of 10 uh, available to you on iTunes and Spotify and everywhere fine podcasts are found. Ben. Hi. Uh, you you can find me, I don't know, uh, every <laughs> once in a while on this channel for the RPG Exploration Society. Um, or uh, uh, on Animal Crossing, raiding random islands, because that's the only thing keeping me sane right now. Nice, nice. Uh, Aki. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mixgenie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. Um, you can find me on Mondays over at Q Times playing Star Trek Adventures for Clear Skies. It is 6.30 p.m. PT. Uh, you can find me on D&D Twitch on Thursdays playing A Darkened Wish, uh, which is the IDW tie-in to the comic book series by B. Dave Walters and Tess Fowler. Um, and that is on uh, Thursdays at 5 p.m. right before, well, not Critical Role right now because they're on a break. Um, and I think 
that's me. Blank Slate is currently on a hiatus while we figure out tech stuff for trying to do LARP remote. Uh, so mm. stay tuned to the Blank Slate Twitter to, to uh, get more information on that. But otherwise, yeah, those are the places that you can find me. And hopefully soon we'll have an announcement about when season three of New Pantheon will start again. But until then, those are the, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm up to. Mr. Lommel. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Lommel. You can catch me at Six Hit Points on Twitter. That's kind of where I'm hanging out right now. So uh, it was great to jump in and play as opposed to running something. Good times. Thank you. Thank you, Dom and chat. 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 Yeah. yeah. I oh, want no. you to know, everybody. Oh, chat, no, no. That I really Thanks, enjoyed everybody. playing in this game today. <laughs> it was really nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, y'all. See you later. Bye. 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 Happy subbing.